Hi guys, Adam here with Prepped and Polished, South Natick, Massachusetts. Today we're going to talk about sense of time. First of all, what is sense of time? Well, it's another key component of the executive functions. You might remember last week we talked about working memory. Well, one of the ways that you use your working memory is to interpret incoming events and analyze that against a passage of time, your own internal clock. Now, some of us have really strong internal clocks. They tick pretty loudly. We have a good idea of how long things are taking and when we need to stop and readjust our schedules or move on, change plans, switch gears. But for some of us, especially those of us with weak executive functions, time can seem much more fluid. Our internal clocks don't tick as loudly. And for example, something like homework can seem to, seem to take hours. You know, just having fun can fly by in a matter of minutes. And this can result in a variety of challenges for students who have difficulty with sensing the passage of time. These kind of students tend to be chronically late, they miss deadlines, they don't know when to switch gears, they spend too much time on the wrong activity. But fortunately there are some strategies we can put in place to overcome lapses in our own ability to sense time. So when we struggle with a weak internal sense of time, one of the best overarching strategies we can use is to externalize our time management so we don't have to rely on you know, our own faulty executive functions. First one I would suggest is use external reminders. First one you can do is use lots of clocks. Put clocks all over your house, all over your bedroom. You know, it's a good passive reminder of what time it is and what's happening, you know, how much time is passing. There's also some great tools you can use to help with homework. There's clocks that have um, a feature where you can shade part of the clock so you can actually see the passage of time as the minute hand moves. Another great strategy, wear a watch. I know we all have the time on our phone, but it's much easier to just peek at your watch than it is to pull your phone, and you're more likely to do it. Additionally, you can buy watches um, that will have alarms or vibrate every 10 to 15 minutes so you can be aware of a certain chunk of time passing. Finally, post signs. There's a lot of routines that we tend to struggle with, fall behind in. A big one, getting ready for school, getting out of the house on time. Time yourself. If you know that you need to be eating breakfast by 8.15, put a sign in your bedroom that says, time to eat breakfast. You know, put a sign in the kitchen that says, 9 o'clock, get out the door. So you can kind of keep track of your daily progress and stay on track. A second key strategy is to use alarms liberally. We all have some kind of smartphone, iPhone, iPod. One of the great features of these pieces of technology is that you can use them to set reminders, set alarms for everything. If 3 o'clock every day you need to start your homework, put a reminder in your phone, start homework. If you want to make sure you're getting to bed on time, set a reminder in your phone, 8 o'clock, time for bed. You can set these throughout the day to help keep you on track as the day moves on. And the third tip is to use a schedule to plan your time. Make a schedule for every day, every week, and check it. You can use your smartphone to set reminders to check your schedule. A good time is the beginning of the day, maybe during breakfast, maybe again at lunch, and then again at the end of the day to see how your day went and how things are fitting into your overall plan. Make adjustments as needed. Nothing ever goes according to plan, so it's important to be flexible. Learn to update your schedule throughout the day and throughout the week. Always check your schedule before committing to something new. See how any new commitments or new plans are going to fit into your existing priorities. Time how long things actually take to do. Some things are different every day, but some things are pretty much the same. For example, the getting ready routine probably doesn't change very much day to day. So time it once, see how long it takes, and then use that time estimate to build your schedule for the rest of the week. Finally, use time and a half, even double time estimates. Especially if you have weak executive functioning skills, you're probably going to tend to underestimate how long things are actually going to take. And nothing ever goes as planned. So you want to make sure you budget time for mistakes, for life, and for transition times. So using time and a half to double time, how long you think things will actually take, is a safe way to build in this cushion. So those are the basics of managing your sense of time. Use external reminders. Put clocks everywhere. Wear a watch. Set alarms. Use your iPhone or iPod to set reminders of activities you want to be doing or starting throughout the day. And finally, make and use a schedule. I recommend a paper schedule, something you can carry with you. Make sure you check it regularly, update it, always check it before you commit to anything, and remember to estimate time and a half to double time how long you think things are actually going to take. Until next time.